Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be transforming this old wig into this. Um, I tried to cut some curtain bangs on this wig and I curled it a little. And this is what the wig looks like. Um, so this wig isn't too bad. It's not too beat up or anything like that. Um, this is what it looks like inside and this is what the front part of the wig looks like. It is a little bit over plucked in the front and you'll be able to see that once I have the wig on. You'll see it a little better. But this is what it looks like. I already washed the wig also. So now I'm going to go ahead and install the wig first. Um, and you guys can just watch me do this. I'm starting off by, I first kind of measured it to make sure it would fit on me correctly and I wouldn't have to cut any more lace. And I'm taking my wig cap underneath and I'm not gluing this down. I don't really need a bald cap method for this. Um, and I'm using my shade and my powdered foundation. I'm just putting that on the wig cap. And then for this part, it took me a while to put the color down on my wig cap. One, because my wig cap is a little bit too light anyways, but my wig lace, as you can see, it's already colored, so I don't really have to color that one. And then also, I need to make sure my bald cap matches it perfectly. So once I finish that and I got it to my liking, I am pulling the wig back some and I'm going to start putting the glue down. I'm using my got to be glue or my gel, I mean my got to be gel. And I didn't really show this part too much just because I kept messing up and it's a lot harder for me to install a lace that's already cut. I need it to be like... I need to be able to cut it and be a fresh lace if that makes sense so I just skipped over that part a little bit because I kept messing up and I wasn't going to put that in the video. But moving on to the wig I went ahead and made my middle part. This wig already kind of had a middle part so I just recreated it. And now I'm sectioning off my hair and I'm going to go ahead and flat iron each part. And now I'm finishing up straightening the hair and I probably am not doing it like the correct way, like the trace method, but I don't straighten my hair every day so I'm not used to doing it. Now I'm pulling out some hair for the bangs. At first I was just going to do like normal bangs and I was going to pull out this small section here, but I decided to do curtain bangs and I'm taking my scissors and I'm cutting my hair going downwards. I don't really have an angle on the scissors, but... I'm just cutting it downwards. I kind of forgot to have an angle, um, but you want to make sure that you kind of have the scissors at an angle as you cut down. And yeah, I'm just going back in um, and cutting it. I want to make it like, um, I don't know how to explain this, but I want to make the bang kind of like get longer as I go down, if that makes sense. It's hard to explain, uh, but you can see what I'm doing. And now for this part, I decided to pull a little bit more hair out. I feel like I didn't have enough. Um, and this part, I'm just continuing to do the same steps that I was doing earlier with the scissors. So once I'm done cutting, this is what the hair looks like. On my left side, it does look a little bit more like a blunt cut and I didn't want to go back and fix it because I didn't want to cut more off um, so I just left it like that. Now I'm taking my flat iron and I'm curling the hair a little bit more. So with this part, I curled the hair in the wrong direction. I mean, you can do this direction, but I feel like if you curl the hair going away from yourself or curl it upwards, it's going to flow a little bit better and blend into the rest of the hair. So once I'm done with the bang area, I'm moving on to the rest of my hair. Now I'm not the best at curling my hair with a flat iron. I'm not best like using a flat iron period, but I tried to make some curls with the rest of my hair and you can kind of watch me do that. So 
So now it's time for me to blend the hair a little bit better. Um, I'm using my comb and I'm just brushing through the hair. I'm trying to make it like how I've seen in like pictures. I'm trying to make the bang kind of like swoop over. You know what I mean? So I decided also to cut a little bit more hair on the bangs. Um, I felt like it wasn't like how I wanted. The length wasn't how I wanted it to be. And it was kind of a little bit too much in my face. And I still could have cut a little bit more off, but I didn't do too much. And I'm also using my flat iron to flatten my hair down a little bit. And I'm also using my comb now to go back in and I'm trying to continue to make my hair like swoop and blend nicely into my hair. Also my curls on like my hair, they definitely went away. Like I said, I'm not the best at using a flat iron so, but this is the next day and I decided to try and do the curling part a little bit different. This time I wanted to curl the hair going in an upwards position and then for the bang part that's like right by my eye, I decided to keep it the same way and curl it in a downwards position. And then after curling that side, I'm taking my comb and going through that. And then I'm curling the rest of my hair or trying to curl the rest of my hair. The curls kind of did fall at the end of the video, but it was fine. Next time I try this, I need to do a little bit of a better method. And this is what my hair looks like once I finished. I definitely want to try this out again. This look was really nice. Um, but with all that being said, hope you guys liked the video and everything I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content from me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!